One of the best and easiest ways to organize your Notion workspace is with databases. So let's build a Meeting Notes database together. Without databases, it's possible to amass huge collections of individual pages of similar types, and you lose out on the ability to tag, sort, and filter them. Using a database for Meeting Notes is a great way to keep everything in one place and organize all of it. Properties help you identify meeting date, location, host, and more. So it becomes really easy to sort and filter information to find just what you need. We suggest that whenever possible, your entire company or department shares the same Meeting Notes database. You can utilize views with filters whenever you need to see a smaller subsection of notes, but this way you can also get a high-level overview without having to combine multiple databases. This is actually how we run our internal note system at Notion, and it works great. To build out this database, let's first create a new page in the general team space. Putting it in the general team space ensures that everyone will have access to it. Individual users and teams will be able to pull this data into their own team spaces and pages, which helps to increase transparency and prevent information silos. Just a heads up, in this example, we're gonna be focused more on the database design and build than the actual content within. We'll start with giving our database a title and an icon. Let's call it Meeting Notes and add a writing hand emoji. If I click on this row, it'll open up a blank page that I can edit, just like how we've been editing all other pages in Notion. That's what makes it useful for storing our Meeting Note content. The general idea here is that each horizontal row will be a meeting. Each vertical column will categorize that meeting and its different properties, the date of the meeting, the team members involved, and more. I'll add some fictitious meetings to work with. Engineering Weekly, All Hands, and Design Sync. Next up, we'll need to decide what properties we want to add. These will be available to categorize each meeting within the company, and our how will be able to sort, filter, group, and otherwise organize our meeting notes. You'll notice that by default, there is a multi-select property called tags. We can use this to add any category. For example, what teams had the meeting. So let's rename the property from tags to teams. We can then add one or multiple teams here like engineering, design, marketing, and remove the ones we don't need. When it comes to adding other properties, we'll use this plus sign. Here, we'll give the new property a type and decide its name. One important thing to classify about a meeting is when it took place. So we can add a property, select the type date, and name it date. We'll also want to know who attended these meetings, so we can follow the same process to add a person property with the name attendees. Finally, it might be helpful to add a multi-select type property to distinguish between different kinds of meetings, like all hands, daily stand-ups, or weekly syncs. As your company grows and records more and more meetings in Notion, this can become a really fantastic running record for remembering every decision and conversation that's happened over the years.